pilot study in research. In this video, you will learn what is a pilot study, questionnaire pilot study, experiment pilot study, key concentrations for conducting a pilot study, importance of pilot studies in research, steps to conduct a pilot study, advantages of conducting a pilot study. So, let's get started. What is a pilot study? A pilot study might help you determine whether your research design is feasible before you start. This is a small scale preliminary rehearsal where you test the methods that you want to take with your research project. The results will guide the methods of your large scale investigation. Pilot studies are important in the research process as they enable the identification of potential design issues and the assessment of a study's feasibility, practicality, resource requirements, time and cost before the main research is undertaken. It is recommended that pilot studies be conducted for both qualitative and quantitative studies. This phase involves selecting a small group of individuals to test the study procedures. By doing so, researchers can save time and sometimes even reduce cost by uncovering any flaws in the design procedures. Pilot studies allow researchers to identify any ambiguities, participant confusions or problems with the task assigned. Through conducting a pilot study, Researchers can anticipate and address potential challenges that may arise in the larger study. This preparation allows them to be more confident in using the instruments for data collection during the main research phase. Questionnaire Pilot Study Conducting a pilot study for a questionnaire is important for the following reasons. To ensure that respondents understand the terminology used in the questionnaire. To verify that emotive questions are not included as they can make respondents defensive and potentially invalidate their answers. To check that leading questions have not been used as they may bias the respondents' answers. To ensure that the questionnaire can be completed with a reasonable amount of time. If it is too lengthy, respondents may lose interest or not have enough time to complete it, which could impact the response rate and the quality of the data collected. Experiment Pilot Study In a pilot study with an experimental design, it's important to ensure the reliability and validity of your measures for the variables involved. Additionally, you should verify that you can effectively manipulate the independent variables and controls for potential confounding variables. Conducting a pilot study allows the research team to gain valuable experience and training, which is particularly beneficial when using new experimental techniques or procedures. This helps refine the experimental process and identify any potential challenges or issues before proceeding with the main study. Key Concentrations for Conducting a Pilot Study Ensure that your sample represents your target population and use statistical methods to assess the feasibility of your sample size. Define criteria for a successful pilot study based on your study objectives and consider how your pilot study will meet these criteria. When recruiting participants or collecting samples, make sure the process is practical and manageable. Test your measurement instruments whether they are questionnaires, equipment or methods to ensure they are realistic and effective. Identify areas for improvement. Perform data entry and analysis, running your trial data through proposed statistical methods to determine the appropriateness of your data set. Create a flowchart outlining the process for clarity. Importance of pilot studies in research. Defining the research question. Pilot studies help clarify and refine the research question, ensuring that it is focused and relevant. Testing study design and processes. They allow researchers to test the proposed study design and processes, helping to identify and address potential issues that could adversely impact the project. Learning techniques. 
pilot studies provide an opportunity for researchers to familiarize themselves with different techniques related to their study, improving their understanding and skills. Safety Testing in Medical Trials In medical research, pilot studies test the safety of medical treatments in preclinical trials on a small number of participants, which is an important step before advancing to larger clinical trials. Assessing Feasibility Pilot studies help determine the feasibility of the research, preventing the waste of resources and time on unweighable projects. Generating Preliminary Data They provide preliminary data that researchers can use to enhance their chances of securing funding and to demonstrate to stakeholders their com their competence and expertise in successfully conducting the research. Conducting a pilot study Step 1. Define objectives. Determine the specific aspects of your main study that you wish to test or assess in your pilot study. Step 2. Assess sample size. Choose the right sample size for your pilot study. This can be smaller than your main study but still large enough to provide valuable feedback. Step 3. Select participants. Select participants who closely resemble those intended for the main study. Ensure they align with the demographics and characteristics of your target population. Step 4. Prepare materials. Gather or develop all necessary materials for the study such as questionnaires, surveys, protocols, etc. Step 5. Explain study purpose. Clearly explain the purpose and methodology of the pilot study to participants. Specify the study duration to help refine the timeline for the main study. Step 6. Collect feedback. Obtain feedback from participants using surveys, interviews or discussions. Inquire about their comprehension of the questions, clarity of instructions, time required. Step 7. Evaluate results. Analyze the gathered data and identify any patterns or trends. Take note of any unexpected issues, misunderstandings or challenges encountered during the pilot. Step 8. Present findings. Prepare a concise report outlining the process, outcomes and any modification made. Based on the pilot study's results, make necessary adjustments to your study design materials, procedures. Additionally, ensure compliance with ethical research guidelines even during the pilot phase. Do pilot studies always need it? For any research, pilot studies are advised since unplanned events rarely occur during scientific research. It is important to optimize the process in order to minimize them. Why take a chance on costly and disastrous errors that could have been identified and corrected in a pilot study? Advantages of conducting a pilot study Reducing errors and risk by identifying and addressing issues in the pilot study, researchers can minimize errors and risk in the main study, enhancing the reliability and validity of its results. Assessing Practicality and Feasibility Pilot studies help assess the practicality and feasibility of the main study, ensuring that research objectives can be achieved effectively. Testing Research Instruments Pilot studies allow researchers to test the efficacy of research instruments such as questionnaires or measurement tools, ensuring their effectiveness before implementing them on a larger scale. Identifying and addressing weaknesses Pilot studies help identify and address any weaknesses or logistical problems in the study design or procedures, improving overall research quality. Collecting Preliminary Data Pilot studies provide an opportunity to collect preliminary data, offering insights that can inform and refine the main study's approach. Estimating Time and Cost Pilot studies help estimate the time and cost required for the project, assisting in budget planning and resource allocation. 
determining resource needs. Pilot studies help in determining the resources needed for the study, including personal equipment and materials. Modifying procedures. Pilot studies identify the necessity to modify procedures that do not elicit useful data, optimizing data collection processes. Adding credibility and dependability. Pilot studies enhance the credibility and dependability of the study by ensuring robust methods and procedures. Pre-testing interview format. Pilot studies pre-test interview formats helping researchers refine their approach and improve data collection during the main study, developing consistent practices. Pilot studies enable researchers to develop consistent practices and familiarize themselves with the procedures outlined in the research protocol. Addressing safety and management issues. Pilot studies address safety issues and management problems ensuring a smooth and well-managed research process. Limitations of pilot studies Additional costs, time and resources Conducting a pilot study can require extra cost, time and resources which may strain the research budget and timeline. Lack of guarantee for main study success Pilot studies do not guarantee the success of the main study as unforeseen issues or challenges may still arise during the larger scale research. Contamination of data There is a risk of data contamination if data from the pilot study or pilot participants are included in the main study results, potentially affecting the accuracy and integrity of the findings. Funding challenges Funding bodies may be hesitant to fund a further study if the results of the pilot study are already published, leading to challenges in securing additional research funding. Limited power for treatment effects assessment Pilot studies may not have sufficient power to assess treatment effects due to their small sample size, limiting the generalizability of findings related to treatment outcomes. Conclusion Pilot studies are important components of a good research design. They not only help determine the feasibility of a project, but also provide an opportunity to publish results, fulfilling ethical and scientific obligations to share information and assist and help other researchers in maximizing their resources. While a successful pilot study doesn't guarantee the success of a research project, it does allow researchers to assess their approach, practice necessary techniques, and measure the project's potential success. Considering these benefits, starting a research project without a pilot study is generally not recommended. Thank you for watching this video.